Glancy Kelly, man. Now or never, man. Glancy right. Kelly, he grew up in Texas. He All was right. adopted out of the foster care system. Yep. Uh, he said he remembers uh, growing up and uh, he didn't have any food to eat at home, so he would only eat at school. And he would Crazy. actually participate in extracurricular activities like band and basketball just so he can eat free at the games. I thought that was crazy. Uh, he started out singing in his senior year of high school. He said he was self-taught. Uh, he also taught himself how to play the drums and a couple other instruments. He's currently an independent artist, and Now or Never, I believe, is his debut project. How we feel about Glancy Kelly? I'll go first. Uh, I, I, I thought it was average slash dope. Uh, this felt like real soul R&B. Um, his uh, voice was smooth. The sound was smooth. Um, he did stay in one pocket, though, in the lower end side of singing, so we didn't hear no range, no real vocals. But um, he's self-thought, so maybe, you know, with some work, at least we see some kind of talent there. Right. Um, all the good songs have the same sound also. Still good songs, though. Um, songs I liked were Break You Off, It's On, Ex-Girlfriend, uh, take your body down Hold on to me And his voice Kind of reminds me of Mario Braid my hair It's funny that you say that Because uh, You Should Let Me Love You Is the reason why He started singing That Mario song huh, That's what's up That's crazy So yeah um, Thought it was average Slash your dope Is There So what's your letter grade <sighs> I guess that would mean B minus C plus C plus C plus Yeah All Right. I'm, I'm right in the same range as him. I gave it a B minus, but you can really, I was really going back and forth between B minus and C plus. Dope, solid. Yeah. Uh, I know he said he's self taught, but everybody has vocal lessons, man. The, the best of the best have vocal coaches Mariah Carey, R. Kelly. So at some point, you might want to get a vocal coach. Right. It ain't going to do nothing but make you better. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of people get caught up in that. Yeah, self this, self that. I taught myself how to do that. Like Russ does that. Yeah. I mix, I mix, I engineer, produce. That means it's the same ear hearing everything. Nobody else can give you any feedback, which makes all the music sound similar. Now, as far as this right. project went, uh, I didn't like it's on. Uh, the mixing on the intro was bad. Like, I don't know who the engineer was. There's no reason that your vocals should be that low over the guitar. I and agree. then number two came in and it's pretty much the same beat. But the vocals sounded exactly where it needed to be. Exactly. And I was just like, and that's the opening track. Yeah. You can't have that on the opening track. Right. You know what I'm saying? But after you get past that, yo, Fred, fr um, fr um, Fresh Fred. Fred killed that yeah. shit. Yeah, he did. And My Life is a dope-ass song. It kind of reminded me of like Tish Hyman on how she would always tell her story. But Tish Hyman, she had vocal training. And she goes up and down and she makes you feel it. Like, right. he's talking about some real shit, but I wasn't really feeling it, feeling it. Exactly. How I probably should have. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like ex-girlfriend. I like take your body down. Your sex is dope. Break you off is dope. And we, we going isn't a bad song either. I just didn't like his song. So to me, it was pretty much a pretty cool album with some standout cuts on there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And one bad song. Yeah. So, yeah, I gave it a B minus dope yeah i gave it a solid c plus man i was y'all really took the words out of my mouth and you saying that he was self-made and everything like that really makes it clear why i felt the same way listening to it um i feel like he has potential but like he didn't grab me every song like it's nice but it really didn't hold my attention to like say i want to go back to it but it's good music but get some training partner up with some other people and find a way to like evolve your sound because you got it it's there but just network with some other people man like we get we get it to come up you was all by yourself you worked hard but now that you have rose into this level you know start networking man because you can go somewhere yeah you got a great ear the production on this joint is crisp like yeah. i was just yeah. like yo like he he got production that you would think top of the line people would get right right it's just i felt some like some of the writing he could have challenged himself a little bit more on the writing and there were a couple notes that where he probably could have hit higher notes and right just right. took the song to where you really feel it yeah you know what i'm saying like like tish when you listen to tish man she make you feel that shit right you're gonna tie when ty sing man he, yeah and and they and these people and like i ain't gonna say tish but ty ain't necessarily the greatest singer but he will make you feel that shit. Yeah, he you, will. You, you got to be able to make people emotionally connect with the music. All right. All right, man. What's up, man? This is your man, Ambitious Ace of the Report Card. Every Sunday, we're going to have new reviews for you, as well as random drops throughout the weeks of your favorite TV shows and your favorite films. 
So stay tuned and, you know, comment, like, subscribe, share. And don't be afraid to talk to us, man. Get at us. Peace.